Hey, what's going on, everybody? Isaac here with Civil Engineering Academy, jumping on real quick with a little book review. School of PE sent me this sweet book. It's called the PE Electrical and Computer Power Exam Review Guide. And uh, this guy is, um, it's not thin, I will say that. So uh, this is the latest book that the School of PE has produced in order to help uh, engineers pass their PE exam. Now, normally on our channel, we do review uh, books related uh, to those that are taking the civil engineering exam. But I felt like, you know what, there's a lot of people out there that are taking the electrical and computer, uh, the power PE exam. So I thought we'd do a little review on this book and I think uh, you're gonna enjoy it. So uh, there's a lot of material that School of PE is continuing to produce. They've already uh, done some books uh, related to the civil engineering PE exam. They've created books for individual depth, depth exams, and they are continuing to create books for other PE arenas. So uh, this one again is the PE electrical and computer power exam review guide. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing a little deep dive with you on this book and hopefully uh, you'll learn a couple things, including some pros and some cons. Now, School of PE have, has obviously been doing this for a very long time, but them getting into the book arena is relatively new. So as we dive into this, uh, I think you're gonna like what you see as things are definitely updated to a modern take on things. So anyway, with that introduction, that was a long one. I'm excited to review this uh, from this book from School of PE and uh, excited to share it with you. Again, it's the PE electrical and computer power exam, uh, something that a lot of people are taking out there, uh, definitely in the utility world for sure. So with that, let's get right to it. All right. So again, here's the book. And uh, just if I could read a little bit about it, actually, since 2004, School of PE has been helping engineers pass their exams. Confidence. This is a comprehensive guide going to help you pass this particular exam. So this particular one's going to help you with general power engineering circuits, rotating machines and electrical power devices and transmission and distribution, which is actually the arena that I work in. So that's kind of exciting to hear that. Now, obviously, if you're taking this exam, the um, handbook that the NCES provides to you is going to be the only resource that you can bring with you to the exam. And that's just fine. But what you do need is extra material that's going to help you to study because the handbook uh, usually only regurgitates equations out of the handbook and it doesn't really give you what you need to study from. So this is where this bad boy comes in and will definitely help you on this journey. Uh, in order to ace this thing. So uh, let's, uh, again, what I like about it is that it has it covers every piece of topic that you have on here, and uh, it's really nice. So uh, let's, um, let's read a couple of the features that we have on this. So what's nice about this is that um, as you study this review guide, which includes facilitative features like a comprehensive appendix, it has civil engineering definitions in the book, it also has examples, so you can confidently prepare for the exam. You can bring text to life with what's called the augmented reality, the AR content. And I've shared this AR content before in other review videos for their books. It's a relatively new feature and a modern take on QR codes. But if you can scan this little AR feature using an app that they use, and it will bring up some context, either take you to a website or introduce the author uh, to the exam, things of that nature. So it's kind of nice and a little bit of a modern take on uh, QR codes and baked into the book itself. So that's kind of nice. Um, you also have access to mobile quizzes, flashcards, and uh, references to uh, the, the reference handbook from the NCES, which will help you along this journey as well. And that's going to help you also navigate uh, the reference handbook so you can understand it better and know where to find key concepts in the handbook that's provided by the NCES, which is free to you if you haven't grabbed that yet and you're taking this particular depth exam. Um, so go grab that if you haven't. So in the book, one of the other nice things that I really like about it is that they added features like colored tabs. If you can see this, whoop, I don't know if it's gonna focus on there, but you can see that it's got colored tabs and it makes it easy for you to really tab this thing up any way you like to. But because they've already got colored tabs there, you really don't have to do much to it, right? So you got your tabs colored and each of these tabs color uh, cover different sections. So again, the first one 
and I'm just checking this out and reading it with you. But the first one that you're checking out is measurements and instrumentation. Then it dives into applications. Then it drives it dives into codes and standards, analysis, and uh, devices, power uh, devices and power electronic circuits, induction and synchronous machines, uh, electric power devices, power system analysis, protection which is always good for electronics. And then it dives into the appendix. So you can get all of those nice color features right there in the book, which is super nice. So, um, you know, everyone has their own little different learning style with this. School of PE definitely recognizes that everybody has a different learning style as they're studying through this. And so um, they wanna make sure that they provide you with some supplemental material, including some audio help if you need that. Uh, you know, visual help if you need that as well, and just different avenues, different methods for you to learn this stuff, which is why they include these AR codes so you can uh, help you with your studies. So to accommodate those different learning styles, they do offer premium content for each review guide chapter, including lecture videos, the ability to ask the instructor questions, and virtual tutoring sessions. And all you have to do is scan the total AR code that's in the book, and off you go. So if I could show uh, some of these to you, what I really like about this book, some of the positives that are definitely uh, included as part of this book is that you have lots of margin space in here. So if I could show this to you, uh, you got lots of margin space in here in the book. You get colored pictures, you get very nice graphs. Uh, it's a real modern take on, on the material that they provide you. It's not all black and white. Uh, which is typical on study guides and review material. So uh, the charts are clear. They have tons of practice problems in here. The figures are good. Like you will you will love this book and appreciate it for what it is. And the, the other nice thing about it is that it covers everything that's in the specifications. So if you're ever questioning um, what kind of material that you've got, uh, you can rely on this to be updated to help follow the specifications that you're dealing with. So you're not left wondering if, a topic is going to be covered or not. So they get that covered. So a couple positives, like I said, that it covers the specification exactly. So if you are taking this particular depth exam, the PE electrical and computer power exam review guide is going to help cover you. This bad boy was just released, so it's going to be a first edition. Uh, so there might be some things in here that need some correcting, and that's OK. Most books that first come out need that. Uh, you've got the total AR codes that are in there. They're going to help enhance your study. So, you know, there's a wide variety of study methods that you particularly as a student have. And so they cover those, whether it's live instruction or additional problems. Uh, that's what those total AR codes are going to help you do. So that's definitely a positive. Another thing that I really like is that there's tons of margin space in here. So you can write and take tons of notes in, in the book, which is kind of nice too. And, um, so, you know, you're going to mark, mark the heck out of this thing right in it, and it covers everything that you need. The only thing that I might say uh, could be a, a negative, it's not really a negative, but as a first edition, usually on first editions, you're going to have to go through and um, there might be some errata and things of that nature that they might have to work out the kinks on. And that's OK. That just comes with the nature of first time editions and first books that are uh, that, that get developed. So uh, if I could just read through some of this with you as well. The nice thing also about the book is that it's written by different authors. So you get different authors that cover different sections of the material. So you really get a deep dive into this. And uh, you don't have one particular author that knows all the subject matter, but you get different authors that are really good in different subjects. And so they help to, to cover this, which is kind of nice. And again, it covers exactly what's on the spec. So you don't have to worry about that. And in the book, the book is broken up into nine chapters and the appendix is going to have four different sections to help you out. But the nine different chapters cover everything that you need to know and is based off the specifications. The authors, you've got four different authors again uh, in the book each one covering different sections. This thing is definitely reviewed and, and QA'd and QC'd, and they wanna help you, and they wanna help you not only use this book, but again, use it in conjunction with the reference handbook as well. 
They also give you a little upfront content about welcoming feedback on this book. Uh, they also give you details about the exam itself, break it down for you, how to prepare for the exam, what to expect on exam day, what to do after the exam, as they wish you the best of luck as you go through this. They even have the specifications right there at the front, so you can make sure that you are up to date on that. And I'm sure they will update that as things get updated. And they also list all the codes that you're gonna need to check out, which are also given to you in the NCES um, exams. So there you go. There's all the chapters again, reviewing that. So you get that covered. And then you just dive into the book. Nice pictures. Again, here's a picture of those QR codes. Total AR codes is what they're called. You scan this little guy right here. I don't know if that's ever going to focus, but you get the idea. You scan these little codes right here, and it's going to take you to an introduction of the chapters, and off you go. So overall, I really like this book. I think you will enjoy it, too, if you're studying for this particular exam. Again, a lot of positives on this. You've got uh, very nice margins. You've got a book that follows the specification. You've got really nice color-coded pages, lots of room to write in it. Um, again, it follows the specification. You have other ways of learning too. If you're not just a book person, uh, you have the total AR codes that are going to help enhance your learning styles. Uh, if you, if you need other ways to learn, the only negative is that you got a first edition here. So there might be some things that need some correcting, but, uh, those things come with time and there's probably errata or another edition in the future as things go that way. But Overall, I really like this book, guys. I hope that um, this quick little review helped you. If you would like more content or you want to go check out the School of BE, definitely go check out our link at civilengineeringacademy.com slash SOPE. You can go check out all the content that they have there, especially if you're studying this particular exam. And I'll think you're, uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. So anyway, I hope this quick little review was good for you. It was fun for me to do it, to check out the book. Thank you, School of PE, for checking this out and giving, giving me the opportunity to review this. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button and definitely subscribe as we do more reviews of books and material to help you on your journey to pass your PE. Again, this one's a little out of our, not the wheelhouse, but it's a little bit into the power industry where we mainly focus on civil, but I wanted to make sure that we got the word out that they have school PE as other material that's out there for you to help your PE exam if you're taking the electrical stuff. So anyway, guys, hope this helped you out and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.